Okay, how's it going, guys? Out here in the shop, watching some football, making some baits. Uh, tonight I'm making some some spinner blades. So I had some questions. Figured I might as well show y'all. Pretty easy. As you can see, I kind of like making some spinner baits. Uh, I don't sell them, but uh, I give them away to family and friends, and, and kind of use them for myself. So, but anyways, I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. I've got some some spinner blades already painted down here. Uh, I painted them uh, first with white and just an opaque white Createx, and then uh, and then with some fluorescent yellow and. Uh, now we're just gonna paint them up and I'll show you how I finish them off. So, one of my favorite colors to use is this fluorescent orange on this, on this yellow. It really does come out really good. I've tried to paint these a lot of different ways and this is about one of the best ways that I come up with that just really looks sharp. I kind of don't get too particular on these. I just, whatever I come out with is what I come out with. kind of see on here I just kind of kind of wing everything but you know uh, I've painted uh, designs and all kinds of stuff on these spinner blades and it seems like the, the things that come out the best is just the just the random dots or whatever I come up with so we'll just see how it comes out because I really never disappoint myself seems like so Okay, got a fluorescent green, kind of like this color too. And like I say, nothing, nothing too planned. Just kind of random and sporadic. Seems to work just fine. Okay, let's use some blue. So I've got some opaque blue. Try to leave as many of my layers showing as I can. Like I say, they're, they're kind of all done a little bit different, but however it comes out.
been really liking this pearlized purple too. I just, my wife especially likes it. Some, some of these blades turn out really cool. Kind of almost seems like it gives it like a, uh, I don't know, just that extra little spectrum color. Yeah, that good enough. Okay, get this brush cleaned up a little bit. Okay. Now kind of the fun part. So now that we got our colors on here, kind of what I like to do, shake up my opaque black. Just get a little bit in the in the cap there. That was kind of a lot in the cap, but anyways, take an acid brush, however you have your acid brush, kind of dip it, and then kind of make some spots on the paper, kind of see what you can come up with. So let's start down here. And it's just all random. It just it don't really matter. However you do this and get it to come out. I've kind of noticed that however I do it, it always comes out kind of cool. Really not, like I said, not a really a specific way to do it, but you'll be able to tell kind of blopping, just blop it, and it just pretty neat. So bigger blobs, smaller blobs. More blobs, less blobs. But I just think this, man, this just makes them really neat. It's, it's really an easy type of uh, process. And like I say, you can just do it however you want to. Air conditioner kicked on back here, but. And then about the time you think you mess up, it turns out to be one of the cooler ones that you do. I don't know why that is, but it's always like that, it seems like. Oh, I messed that one up. Well, you think you did, but none of them really turn out bad, so. I'm in there because it kicks on. But there you have it. Turned out pretty cool, so. I always spray them, you know, I've dipped them in uh, diamond clear, and that's not bad. But the diamond clear, I have to hang them, they take a long time to dry. I really haven't had any problem with this. And, uh, you know, a lot of people on this say that, uh, you know, oh, that doesn't last underwater or whatever. I don't, I don't know how many times they use their baits, but I fish with mine, and, uh, Seems like a couple good fishing trips and that's about all I'm getting out of a lure anyways, so anyways, but I probably catch more more fish than a lot of people, so anyways, alrighty, well that's how it is. Thanks guys.